msikilizaji mpendwa mtazamaji mpendwa kardinali wetu John Jue and Paris Priest Kamomwe Father Kamomwe and your team with our technical team in this basilica we feel honored we feel honored because KBC had decided to give you the opportunity to see us maybe other channels Ukweli TV streaming Facebook and other months we are here to say to God it's a Sunday we want to honor you it's a day of honor to God but at the same time a day to cry out to God for our needs and de the needs we have of our brothers and sisters I know some of you have asked the same question I asked when will this end I know many of you have cried quietly or loudly asking when will this be over in fact the day before yesterday or rather yesterday we are told we have more few days of lockdown and this is for our good I understand therefore my dear brothers and sisters na hasa ninyi mlawalala ma hospitalini tuko hapa tukuwakumbuka tukuwaombea na nyote ambao mnausiana na maofisi ya kusaidia watu tuko hapa kusikiza Mungu akiongea nasi every reading we have listened today speaks to our situation and our situation is what our situation is the suffering of all of us in one way or another whether you have the corona or not you cannot travel as you used to do before whether you live in china or you live in mombasa or you live in nairobi you cannot interact as you used to do we are in a situation which we are calling a pandemic of coronavirus and we are called to walk with it and perhaps realize god does not desire us despite the challenges despite our problems despite our issues and we are called and reminded and encouraged by the word of god neno la mungu linatuangazia sema na kwanza peter amesimama siku ya pentecost ametoka nje akaenda mji wao mkuu wa yerusalemu and he speaks with authority he says gentlemen of jerusalem you know what that jesus you crucified in fact he blames them for it he says mlim singizia you you are envious he was a good man and so on and so on but that jesus you're talking about is alive is well is with us and he continues to tell them in fact that jesus has been predicted by the early prophets and is known that he is a man who came to save the world and they say peter says we are your witnesses are you a witness of that joy any time in your life yes i'm sure at one time or other our second reading talks about to see bagwane let's not um, begin to segregate each other and say this one is this tribe this one is the other it reminds us that as we are now whether we like it or not we are interconnected by life by God that we have been created by him and he reminds us that we cannot in any way separate ourselves from our brothers we are brothers and sisters our gospel reading which i like to concentrate a little bit more is a beautiful story of those who are discouraged and sometimes like you and me discouraged by wow we thought you would be the one what were they thinking about they were thinking jesus was going to remain around they were thinking about jesus will come and liberate them from the yoke of the romans they were thinking jesus will be the one who will be their leader temporal leader the president rather the head head of the state there but they realized that was not the case 
So they are discouraged and they start to walk away. As they walk away, they do like some of us in Africa do. In Africa, if I'm joined by somebody on the way, I don't begin asking them, Unaitwa Nani, who are you? What's your name? I begin by saying, Karibu brother, and we chat, we talk, we walk. We may be in a bus or a train. We walk and walk until maybe about to part. Then as we shake hands saying goodbye, oh, by the way, Jinalako ni Nani. This is the kind of situation of the two. And they walk as they realize, but this, this stranger, as it were, begins and continues to walk with them, talking about the same things of Jesus. In fact, he asks him the first question, what are you talking about? And he says, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? And lo, lo and behold, he begins, this stranger, to talk about the same. And they walk away, they continue, and they come home. This reading for me reminds of our situation in our world today. When we look at different areas, ask politicians, they ask you, what were we waiting for? What happened to us? Ask the families, what happened to us? Ask the children, what happened to us? Ask anyone, ask those who run recreational places, educational institutions, what happened to us? What are we going to do? And this is the way we are all asking in the whole world. In fact, as we continue this way, everyone realizes it is not just me. We are all interconnected. Yesterday, I asked one of my brothers, what are you going to do with your workers now? And he told me, you know what, my dear? We have to think concretely how things are and decide together that we need each other, but with very difficult moments. It's not easy. That notwithstanding, Jesus continues us as they arrive where they are, we are told in the reading. And as he sits, they, they kind of go into the house, we are told. Jesus is invited in. They didn't know he was the one. He's invited this stranger to join them. Imekuwa usiku. Saya kafiu iko karibu siondoke, brother. Do that. Invite him or her or them. Ni usiku imekuwa jioni. Invite them in. Invite them to have a meal. Invite them to have a, a bed. Invite them to walk with you. Your, your sorrow, your problems invite with you. And anyway, he continues to join them, and as they make the bread and join to eat the, the food of the evening supper, their eyes are opened. And I believe this is where we are now. We need our eyes to be opened by the, as, as it were, by the breaking of bread today, by this Eucharist we share. Though you are far and I am here, though you are watching from wherever you are watching and I'm here, we want to say, God, open our eyes. Open our eyes to see and hear you. Tell us, don't give up. This is the bread for your journey. Mkate wa uzima wa minele. This is the food you share. In fact, no wonder I say to you, you gave me something to eat. So also share with the neighbor, share with the stranger, share with all those who don't have a chance to have a food, share. So we are sharing the journey, the journey of our faith. You may be Muslims, you may be Catholic, you may be Protestant, you may be whoever, but we are sharing in a common world, which Paul calls our common home. And this environment we have now reminds me of his document about environment. He says, this is our common home. We must take care of it. Let's share in taking care of it, it and more so taking care of the inhabitants who are in it, who are at the moment, at this time, faced with a hell of problems. Hell of problems. So as I part the shots, I want to remind myself, this Sunday, Christ is reminding you and me he speaks to us through the word of God. That's one strong pillar of our faith, wherever you are, whatever Imani you belong. The word of God 
it may be a Muslim come to you as a, as a Quran. To the more Hindu comes as a, Hindu, a Gita. To another by their book. To us by the Bible. The word of God speaks to us. It's a strong pillar. Maybe it's a time, look at it again. Read it out in the family. Let the young fellows begin to read in the family. Let them think what he's saying. Word of God. And again, the next pillar I think that will strengthen us in this matter is our common prayer. We are here because we believe in prayer. Christ believed in prayer. Occasionally he went with his disciples in places, high mountains, in the lakes and other places. Let's get aside and be with ourselves. They prayed and one time God revealed them to him, to them, when he became and his face was shining. Let's pray so the world can shine despite the suffering. And he was going and continues to come with us. It's a moment also to remind ourselves of who those of us who receive the sacraments, be it Eucharist. Today we have a spiritual union, communion. And that is why sometimes it's so difficult for the religious communities, Polenisana, for priests in the parishes, and even people who are used, all of us are used to churches and going to pray on Sunday. Unfortunately, a few of us have got into trouble. And I think it's the hunger to pray with other people. It's the hunger to pray with other people. I was in a meeting the other day and somebody said, we have a spiritual hunger. Yes and no. We have a spiritual hunger, but we can receive remotely. We can receive a dose remotely by this experience we are having today. Do not be afraid. Even though you are two or three, he says, Jesus, I am there with you. Pray with your brothers and sisters. The last but not last, the last thing is that these brothers of Emmaus shared their bread. Are we sharing enough? Are we giving out what we don't need or don't, don't need until it hurts, as somebody said? We are called to share our bread, our even fears with your brother. Let them talk to you and tell you what they're afraid of. Of course, the fear is the greatest. The finance is one of those. Death is another. And some have already experienced people dying in their family or others very sick. Share with them. Let them share with you too in a manner, maybe on a phone, maybe on an email, maybe on a Twitter, maybe on a Zoom, and let's have a chance. And more so, thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity. Last but not least, God cares and loves us. And no one is too small to be cared for. We are all sons and daughters of the same Father who called us to tell us, ask and you shall receive. Knock shall be open. Such you shall find. Our doctors are searching for cure. Our preachers are searching and looking, take care of their, uh, their flock while they're afar. And we are praying even at remotely. So may God bless our work, may God bless all of us in this country and beyond, and more so all of you who are able to communicate with one another through any other means, more so media and large in Kenya. They have been very, very, very kind. God bless all those who run these media houses and all those who are coming on board. We want to say welcome so that we can tell the world like Peter, Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. God bless you, God bless our country, God bless our world, and more so those who are sick and the doctors. Last but not least, we want to wish our brothers, the Muslim, who begin their Ramadan sometime this week or so, a happy Ramadan, we know the challenges. We know we are with you in prayer. And thank you for the support given already by all those who have shared with us.